Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how I made this adorable acrylic sign. This sign is gonna be hung in my daughter's room. We've seen these signs on Etsy and Amazon and they can get pretty expensive. So I thought, let's make one ourselves. It'll be way cheaper. I already had most of the supplies laying around the house. The only thing that I actually had to pay for was this acrylic piece which I got super cheap. So this whole thing only cost me a couple bucks. So if you're interested in seeing how I made this, keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by saying, please don't come at me for my ratchet nails. I know they're ratchet. <laughs> my nail polish came off in another craft video that I did recently. So for this craft, you're going to need some blank acrylic sheets. I got mine from Lowe's. They come in a variety of different sizes. I actually got this piece for a reduced price because it was scrap from another customer's order, I guess. So I'm gonna start by painting the back. I've already peeled the plastic backing off of this. So I'm just using some Apple Barrel acrylic paint. This is Cameo Pink to match everything else in my daughter's room because this is going to be a sign that's going in my daughter's room. So I'm just going to drizzle some paint on there and paint it on. And I want my paint edges to be kind of jagged like that, but I'm going to smear it closer to the edge of the acrylic. So now that I have the paint on here, I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and then we're going to flip it over and we're actually going to paint our sign on the other side. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes and you guys probably already know this, but I am so impatient. <laughs> so if you want this paint to dry quite a bit faster and not wait as long, you can use your handy dandy heat gun. I have a link in my description for this. So I'm just going to turn this on low because I don't want it to damage the acrylic, but it's just gonna help dry my paint a little bit faster. And there we go, now the paint is completely dry to the touch and now we can work on the other side. So for this part, you're gonna need a couple things. I recommend using a chalk marker to kind of figure out where you want your words to be and how you want them mapped out on your acrylic piece. But you don't have to do that. Um, if you didn't paint the back, you can put a piece of like parchment paper underneath draw it what you want and then just trace it over the paper but i just use a craft marker because i like to paint my background and then use the craft marker to just figure out how i want it laid because if i don't like something i can just erase it once i'm satisfied with where my craft marker writing is then i go over it in these sharpie markers um so these are oil-based sharpie markers I get these from Hobby Lobby. This thinner one was $3 and this thicker one was $5. But if you get them when they're on sale, obviously, then you get them a little bit cheaper or you can or you can just use your 40% off coupon like I do. They do go on sale on Michaels and you can also find them on Amazon, but I'll link these above as well. Now I'm just going to map out where I want my words to go. So like I said before, this is going to be a sign that's going in my daughter's room. Um, she saw a similar sign at Hobby Lobby that she kind of wanted. So we just kind of use that as inspiration, but we're actually gonna personalize it with her name. So I wanna show you guys that now. So before I get started with the writing, I just recommend having like a wet paper towel or a wet washcloth with a dry one on hand. Just in case you mess up, you can just wipe it away and then dry the spot that you wiped. So this is where I recommend having like a paper plate or a piece of paper on hand or something. And you're just gonna wanna press down your tip a few times to get the ink to start coming out. So as you can see there, it's starting to come out. So my daughter's room is light pink, white, and gold. 
So I'm gonna be doing her name in the gold and then these letters down here in the white. So I'm gonna set this plate aside so I can just use it as I need to. And we're gonna start tracing our letters now. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for this paint to dry and then I'll probably go over the white one more time depending on how it dries and then we'll be good to go. And I'll take our wet rag and just clean up any chalk marks that I didn't go over just to clean it up. So I added another layer of the Sharpie oil markers to my lettering just so it look a little bit better. Now I'm going to be drilling two holes into my sign so that we can hang this up in her room. So it's really important that you put a piece of wood underneath your acrylic so that you're not drilling into whatever's underneath your sign. And then you're going to need a really thin drill bit and then you're gonna work your way bigger to whatever thickness of hole that you're needing. Okay, and now I'm gonna get a drill bit that's a little bit bigger and go into the same holes again. So I have a drill bit that's a little bit thicker than the last one we used, and I'm gonna be drilling into the same holes that we just did. Okay, so we have our sign and we have our holes drilled into it, and this is a good width to put some ribbon through it, but you could screw this into the wall, but because it's going in my daughter's room, 
we're gonna put some cute ribbon on it. So I'm just gonna touch up the paint where I've kind of scratched some of it off, drilling these holes. So I'm gonna touch that up and then I'm going to be spraying some clear coat over this just to kind of protect the paint a little bit and then it will be good to go. Okay, so I have sprayed my sign with the clear spray paint and I let it set for about 40 minutes so it is ready to try the ribbon on. I have cut out about a two foot piece of ribbon and I'm just going to thread it through the back and I'm going to be tying a double knot. Make sure you pull it tight so that it doesn't come loose. And of course I had to get like a ribbon that had leopard print on it because my daughter's obsessed with leopard print just like I am. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Tie a simple double knot. And then there you have it. It is ready to be hung on our wall. How cute is this sign, you guys? Okay, so my daughter picked out a spot that she wants this hung in. So we're just gonna hang it there. And there is our gorgeous, acrylic sign all right guys so you saw how we made this cute acrylic sign so if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button below so you don't miss any other crafting tutorials